So you've got new construction on your mind and you're thinking about moving to the Auburn Opelika area, or you may be someone that is not relocating to the area, but you're just wanting to relocate homes and maybe you're wanting to sell your home and get a new one. Well, and today we're just going to cover everything you need to know about that new construction process. A lot of the reasons why you want to work with an agent that is actually not the builder's agent, as well as some ins and the outs of the new construction business and how to make sure that you're getting all the quality and all the value out of the home builder, as well as understanding exactly what areas are hot, what areas are not, and uh, also working with someone that's gonna push your timeline as well as uh, have your best interest. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in today. Auburn, Alabama area, I want you to make sure Hey everyone, Alex Acuff here with EXP Realty and the Acuff Weekly Group. If this is your first time to our channel, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. That way you don't miss another video because uh, we cover everything that you want to know about living in the Auburn Opelika area. And if you are making the looking to make that move to the Auburn Opelika area, I want you to reach out to me and my team. We'd love to help you be the boots on the ground and help you make that transition. And that's exactly what we're talking about today is making that transition to really new construction. So that's gonna be our focus today. And we're gonna dive, we're gonna dive into kind of the, the ins and the outs and everything you're gonna to wanna to know about buying new construction in the Auburn Opelika area. And we'll also uh, kind of cover at the end some of the hot neighborhoods that are coming up that you may not be able to find online. There's actually several, a lot of the neighborhoods you won't be able to find on some of these new construction websites or Zillow or knowing kind of what's available as far as lot purchases and stuff like that. So uh, working with an experienced team like mine is going to be a really good thing for you. Um, I was raised uh, by a home builder and I also worked in the home building world as uh, coming up through college, all through high school and actually after college, right as I was getting into real estate. So I've got a lot of knowledge about it. My team, they're fully educated on the ins and outs of it. So we're going to get into it right now. So getting into new construction has been a big issue the past couple years. Once COVID hit, you know, the inventory went way down. Um, builders were having supply issues, supply chain issues. They were having worker issues. And it's been a rough two years, I'll be honest. It's been pretty rough up until now. And so now uh, we've, you know, gone from two years of low interest rates, trying to get people to buy. But if you look at the history of new construction over the past 10 years, we're actually at a deficit of supply. And that has been a big issue. You know, Auburn Opelika has got a ton of people moving here every single week. And so it's very important that our builders are maintaining their inventory levels, keeping them up, making sure that we're able to have enough homes to sell. So it's very important to to really be knowledgeable about what's going on and what the opportunities are. And so getting into some of the opportunities here, um, you'll notice that new construction inventory is actually on the rise, which is great. We're finding that there are a ton of opportunities as far as getting incentives. And um, let me break down what I mean by incentives. So when I say incentives, I mean the builder is willing to give you concessions or um, make exceptions. So we came from two years of pretty rough like multiple offers, everyone's paying asking price or better. And now with uh, uh, the new construction, now we're starting to see more inventory. So now the builders are giving out incentives. And so that incentives could be as much as 15 or 20 grand worth of incentives. And what does that mean to the person that wants to buy new construction? That means that you're going to get some of the opportunities to either A, buy down your rate, which I highly suggest. You can upgrade some of the fixtures, the flooring, the paint, the cabinets, some of the packages, your bathroom packages, uh, as well as your land landscape packages, exterior, the roof, some of those opportunities are now available and attainable for the average home buyer today. So we're seeing a lot of those incentive packages. It's super important to understand this because I, I literally just got out of a new construction meeting last week and we sat down with the builder and they were like, actually you have about 15 grand worth of upgrades that you can use here. And we had already had the conversation about potentially using some of that money towards their closing costs or buying down their rate, which I highly suggest, or at least doing something like a two one buy down, which is buy down the rate two points for the first year, one point for the second year, and then it goes back up because year three, year five, you know, in that range, you're probably going to refinance, let's be honest, or you're probably going to sell if you're transient through the area. So there are a lot of opportunities, but just understand that the goal is for us to understand what your goals are. 
And that's why it's so important to work with an agent that's going to represent your behalf of the transaction is because we are your fiduciary. We're looking out for your best interest and we're trying to find out exactly how can we structure the deal that you're going to get the most value out of it. So we're really going to, um, we are working for it. Okay. We are definitely working for it. And so understanding what you want to get out of those incentives and putting those in the right place. And, you know, getting to working with an agent on your behalf versus the builder's agent. Let's kind of talk about that a little bit and break it down. So builders are businesses. Understand that number one. And builders have agents or marketing companies that work for them. Their job is to sell new homes. Okay. It's not their job to go find you a resale home or go find you an opportunity in another new construction neighborhood, unless it's their own. So understand that when you are looking at homes and you chat with a builder's agent, their job is to make their builds the greatest and best and latest and only inventory that's going to be available to you. And that's not a bad thing. I'll be honest with you. So the builder's agents are doing their job. There's a lot of good builders around here and there's a lot of great opportunity and they are absolutely selling some phenomenal properties. And, but that's just really one piece of the puzzle when it comes to buying real estate. The reason why you want to work with an agent that is not the builder's agent is because we're going to show you everything. We're going to look at the resales over here. We're going to understand your goals. We want to sit down, hop on a Zoom call, and really understand exactly what you're wanting to get out of your move to the Auburn Opelika area and find out where that fits in. Because what we find a lot when we work with people that are relocating to the area, this is what happens. We get on a Zoom call and we start discussing. They have a home that they have to sell. Okay. So number one, they may not have an agent and we can refer them to a, one of our partner agents in that town, which is always a good thing because now we can have a interest in making sure that you're making that transition as smooth as possible. And if you want to see some of those examples, go to Google and look at some of our re reviews with people that have relocated to the area. I think we've done a really great job of making that a very smooth transition to the Auburn Opelika area. And so also, um, once we understand, like you may have a home to sell and you're like, you know, we're looking at a resale. I don't think we can buy new construction. Well, you may not just, you may not know all the availability one of the good things about working with me and my team is that we have great relationships with the agents that work for the builders, as well as a lot of the actual builders, the names on the signs. And so we have those personal relationships. And so we're able to find out not just what their inventory is on the multiple listing service, which is definitely going up, but also what's available coming down the line. What do they have going down the pipe? We have several builders agents that we work with that actually give us early access to lots, like really nice premium lots, like lake lots and stuff. So, um, that is a huge value that we can bring to the table to help you make that transition. As well as just, like I said, understanding the incentives is, is definitely big, but um, also working with an agent that, you know, is not just, if you're talking about resale and we feel like we see an opportunity for new construction, we're, we're actually going to put that option in front of you. Because right now, if you want my opinion in late October, in fall of 2022, I think the best value right now is actually buying new construction because what we're seeing is, is that new construction levels are going up. The builders haven't seen this much, this much inventory in a couple years. And so they're going to be giving a lot of incentives to get their inventory off the books by the end of the year. And then also the resales are really highly priced. So you've got the uh, new construction that's offering a ton of incentives. And then you've also got the uh, resale inventory that's really high priced right now. And so what we're seeing is that that inventory uh, on the resale side is coming, is actually going up and we're seeing prices start to go down. But what we notice is that as the inventory goes up, the lagging number is actually the list price. And because sellers are really stuck on what that what their neighbor sold their house for six months ago and what they think they should get for the home. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think there's opportunities for great negotiations with resales versus new consumers construction, of course, because a lot of builders, uh, I, I kind of make this joke and this is all in fun, is that they don't have a subtraction sign. They will find a way to incentivize you to buy a home and give you incentives, but they're not going to they're not going to cut down on the price. And that's how most of them are, unless you're working with a small independent builder that is building some one-off homes and they may be more negotiable, or if it's a cost plus job with a custom new construction. And if you're looking for that custom new construction and you want to do a one-off build, please reach out to us. We're super familiar with the builders. We'd, we'd love to recommend great builders to build you a nice 
personalized custom home. Um, and there's definitely some stuff that is not on the market in the Auburn Opelika area that you should absolutely know about. So back to the inventory levels. So we're seeing new construction go up. We're seeing resale go up. Uh, more incentives on the builder side because they are seeing the trends every day, whereas the new home seller just looks at the old numbers that uh, from previous sales. So um, more negotiable on the resale side, but you're going to get more incentives on the new construction side. And so as we see new neighborhoods being opened up, is that you're going to be able to uh, get into a neighborhood, get a lot of incentives, but as inventory and we continue going on this market because every market ebbs and flows, right? So understand markets go up and markets come down. So right now we're at a time where interest rates are going up, inventory is going up. And when that number starts to come down, you're never going to see the new construction number come down, the price of the home. It just won't. They'll, they'll stay still or else they'll continue to grow at a moderate pace. So you're going to be in a position where if you have to resale in three to five years, you're going to have a great product to sell that's relatively new, that's competitive in a nice neighborhood, in a trending area. So that part of understanding it is, is really, really important. So now you're probably wondering, what does that process look like? So if you are, re let's just say I'm relocating to the Auburn Opelika area, what does that process look like? I highly suggest to reach out to me and my team to get the process started so we can start getting some of those neighborhoods, you know, in your mind, uh, getting them on paper and start developing a plan. So once you get to town or if you live in town, it's important to get with your agent and talk about, you know, what neighborhoods you want to go see, what neighborhoods you don't want to go see. Um, and if you do go to neighborhoods and they have model homes, this is very important. If you're working with an agent, like an agent on our team, we always instruct all of our clients, please let the builder's agent know that we're representing you. Because like I said, up until this point, we are a huge value in helping you really get the most value out of the home. Understand the builder's agent that works in the model home works for the builder. But we, you know, we want to be your fiduciary because, you know, you may have other, other things going on. You may have to sell a home. You may have to figure out how to get out of your rental. So we want to help you along that process and also be the accountability, especially if you're relocating to, uh, to the area. And let's just say a lot of our clients, they'll fly into town. We'll go look at new properties. We'll go look at all the new neighborhoods and we'll pick one out. Well, at that point, we've already sat down. We've uh, gone into a couple different homes, a couple different models, gone through the model home, looked at some of the selections. And then how are you going to hold the builder accountable when you're not in town? Well, that's what we do. We want to handle that process. We want to make that as smooth as possible. If you can't make the frame walkthrough, we want to be the people that show up to the frame walkthrough because I'll be honest with you, two by fours in the South are not straight. Just flat out. If you look at the framing, two by fours, all the homes are built with pine wood and we've got humidity. So they, if you're not familiar with that, uh, the wood is going to swell and it's going to shrink. So it's very important to know like when it's raining, go in and take a look at the house. Uh, you know, when a roof goes on, you definitely want to go and walk through the house, especially after a rain, because we, we need to know if there's any, any current leaks, anything that needs to be fixed, because the last thing you want to do is buy a home, you move into it, the first big rain or storm comes through and all of a sudden you see a water spot on your ceiling. And yes, I have had this happen to a client. We are not perfect, but it does happen. So we actually had a client that purchased a home um, and it was almost already finished when they, when they put it under contract. We didn't really get a chance to do the frame walkthrough or do a lot of due diligence on it. And they bought it, moved in to find out uh, one of the roofers had actually left a, uh, a tow board nail in, in the roof and it leaked and it ruined their tray ceiling in their master bedroom, which was upstairs. So the, I've got plenty of crazy stories like that. Feel free to reach out to me. Happy to share them, but not right now on this video. So like I said, it allows us to be your boots on the ground. We want to be the people that you can trust when you come into town, meet with us. I want you to feel 100% confident that we are going to walk you through the process. We're going to work with the builders, work with the builders agents. We have great relationships with all the agents that work with the builders. Like I said earlier, we are here to uh, work together. I like to call it co-opetition, not competition. So we're going to work together to make sure that we're holding everyone accountable, including us to make sure we're, we're uh, reading through your contract. We're making sure that you've got all the contingencies in there that you need. We're getting all those questions answered because some builders may not take certain contingencies versus others that are that are more likely to take the contingencies you need or actually meet your timelines. And I think it's also important that you're going to need a sounding board that's local because since we've worked with all the builders in town, 
we can actually give you a very good recommendation as to which builders we feel are going to be, we're going to have enough confidence in to make your timeline for that transition and get you in on time because not all builders are created equal. Um, and that's just, it's just a fact of life, especially here in the Auburn Opelika area. Another big part is the inspection periods. I did briefly speak about doing the frame walks, but inspections are really important. We've got a lot of great inspectors that we personally uh, recommend that are very familiar with new construction or they were builders previously. And so what we do is we like to recommend that you hire an inspector that's not just gonna go by once, that they go by a couple times throughout the build just to make sure that we're meeting all the code requirements, that, you know, it, that nothing was missed, that some of the, you know, we, d we don't want the subcontractors to skip on anything or just miss something. I mean, there's flat out misses sometimes and it's not, a, it's not anyone's necessarily their fault. Maybe they were in a hurry. Maybe something happened. Maybe they had to get out of the house. It was too late. It was dark. So uh, we just want to make sure that we're kind of covering all those ends of the construction period. And so working with um, a local reputable home inspector is going to be our recommendation. And any home that we help anyone buy, whether it's new construction or resale, we are absolutely going to be recommending a home inspector to check out that house and check out all the major systems because things just get missed. You know, we've, we've, we've picked up on inspections where uh, we're near the end and we find out after an inspection, they never collect, they never connected the main sewer line. And that is a huge issue. If we miss the fact that there was a main sewer line not connected to the house, guess what's going to happen after week one, you're going to have a backflow and it's going to be horrible. The builder is actually absolutely going to take care of it. Um, but we've just, we've helped people avoid a lot of issues, you know, crooked windows, crooked doors, um, Plugs that are not grounded is a big one too. Making sure you're not that uh, nobody's you know double tapping um, uh, inside the main panel box, which doesn't really happen a whole lot, but we have actually seen this happen. Um, and and just making sure like we get a good look at the roof, make sure there's n there's no nails left in the roof, uh, that things were properly installed, insulated, and um, we just want to make sure that everything's buttoned up. That way, when you move in, you have a ton of confidence. And also, you don't just have us, but you have another person that is looking at the home that is uh, got their eyes and ears on it that's paying attention and then also so when we get those inspection reports we always give them to the builder and typically we can take care of any inspection items before you even close so we are really excited whenever we work with a home inspector and with the homeowner because we've got a great relationship with everybody and everybody's held accountable so let's talk about top communities um, in the area. Of course, Auburn Opelika is always going to be exploding with new construction. And there's some great companies we've, that are local, like uh, Stone Martin Builders and then Harris Doyle. And then um, we've got the Greyhawk out of, and Houston Homes out of Columbus, Georgia. And then we have Michael Allen Homes. We've got Hooper Homes. We've got Schumacher. Uh, we've got a ton of great builders here in the local area. Uh, Tim Yates, you know, there's a lot of great builders that are here in town um, that we personally know and, and we work with all the time. And they have some really up and coming communities that are brand new construction all over the place. So depending on if you want to be uh, in the in like the pathway of development out of like the north and the west Auburn, um, there's actually some brand new neighborhoods that are going in that I know that are not marketed right now. So there's going to be some good opportunities to slide in early, get good incentives, get good pricing, get a good solid home. Yes, you will probably have to deal with new construction for several years when you when you move in. But I'm telling you, if you're looking for value and getting in on an area, that's a great opportunity. I tell everyone, because if you don't know if you're going to stay in the Auburn Opelika area, get into one of these newer neighborhoods. That way, when it comes down to reselling the house, that's not a huge burden or a huge issue because it's obviously going to be an up and coming area that's developing. Um, there's some really cool developments like the silos. Uh, we've got Plainsmen. Um, there's also uh, some really nice uh, higher end new construction neighborhoods in South Auburn, which is super hard to find um, uh, really good builds going on down there. So connect with us about the Auburn Opelika ones, as well as there's also some really nice developments that are not just in the Auburn Opelika area. Let's just say you want to move to the area, but you want to live in the county. You want to save some money or you just really don't want to be in the city. You want a bigger lot, right? You can go down to Borgard and there's some nice developments going on down there, or even Smith Station, which is really the eastern, southeastern side of Lee County area, kind of towards the border. Uh, they operate on uh, Eastern time over there. So Auburn will be like a central, Smith Station will be Eastern time. And then also out in Beulah and Salem area, there's also some really nice new homes that are going up over there uh, with some of the smaller builders. So you're not going to see a lot of huge 
huge advertising from these guys, but if you reach out to us, we can absolutely pro provide you a whole list of where new construction's happening around the area. Um, and even up north, even up in Waverly, there's some nice new construction that's going on. So just reach out to our team and we'd love to help you kind of make that transition a lot easier with new construction and be your advocate and hold, and you know keep everybody on the right timeline. And uh, you know, you're know you gonna get a friend out of it as well. So those are my tips for buying new construction in the Auburn Opelika area. Uh, like I said earlier, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification and leave us a comment down below. Is there a certain area that you're looking for in the Auburn Opelika area, surrounding area for new construction? Or is there another town outside of Auburn that you're looking at? We'd love to recommend you to one of our partner agents um, and get you hooked up with some of the new construction in those areas. Um, if you'd like to schedule a Zoom call, of course, just reach out to me and my team. We'd love to have that discovery call and find out uh, how we can recommend some of the neighborhoods that may fit exactly what you are looking for when you're making that, uh, that move to the Auburn Opelika area. So with that said, guys, thanks so much for joining me on this video, and we will catch you guys on the next one.